run, 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 run. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the ACS Universe. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Uh, I'm ACS. Uh, it's been a while since I've put any content out. Um, as a matter of fact, it's been like a couple weeks since my Black Panther review. Um, so I'm going to start trying to do this because a couple people I watched, the, the Film Junkie, um, uh, Super High, they have these videos that come out almost daily. And that's where I get a lot of my information from, you know what I'm saying? A lot of breaking stuff because I'll get the notification. But, you know, I, this is going to be my first time. This is going to be my first news episode, uh, so to speak, where I just hit a few topics, tell you how I feel about them, you know, tell you my thoughts on them. And then, you know what I'm saying, uh, just to let you guys know how I feel about some of this stuff. And some of this stuff is old, too, at least a couple weeks because I hadn't done it yet. So I hadn't hit on some of this news that came out. It's been out for a while. So... But I'm going to uh, give it to you the best I can, uh, tell you exactly how I feel about it. Just a few topics, man, that are, that are, that are hot right now. Um, and first off, I mean, right off, oh, check these out. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are reading Doomsday Clock, you know what I mean? I'm, I, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. It's, it's interesting so far, it's pretty decent. And then this, uh, the Dark Knight Master Race. I started reading it, got to like book five, and then I didn't finish it, and then they released this handy dandy that's got like all the books in there and the entire story. I like this one. It was pretty good. I like the, uh, Frank Miller never disappoints, so I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with that book. All right, so let me hit it up real quick. Right off, right off the top, the Snyder Cut of Justice League. I really hope we get that. Something tells me we're not, but I mean... Well, I did see something today. Zack Snyder's leaving these little breadcrumbs on, like, Vero and stuff like that that might be, he's acting like something might be coming, but, you know what I mean, teasing us a bit. Um, please, Zack, don't tease us. But there's just too much stuff, man. And, you know, now I was able to download a copy of the movie, and now I've seen it several times. And the more I watch it, the more I dislike it, you know. And it's not the characters, not the actors. Not some of the action scenes, but I mean, right out the beginning, that silly cell phone video that has no business in the movie at all, just straight up mustache. It, it gets me every time. As a matter of fact, if I'm watching it on my laptop, I click past that, or on TV, I fast forward that right through that. I just can't stand to watch it. It's, it's just horrible. And then, man, they released those two, those Superman Returns, those two uh, clips that are going to be on the Blu-ray when it comes out. Man, come on, man. Like, those would have fit in the movie. It would explain how Superman got his suit. Instead, they cut it for some silly cell phone video at the beginning. Uh, excuse me. Where they could have just left that out and put that stuff in. You know, walking up to Alfred, talking about, you must be Alfred Master Kent. Like, that kind of stuff is important to a lot of people. And it should have been in the movie, you know. Um, since Snyder been throwing shade lately. Because, I mean, that news came out about them firing him now. And I, I ain't going to say I know exactly for sure. 100%, but I, I, it sounds right. I, it's believable that they didn't like his direction he was going with Justice League, so they used, like, some cowards, the death of his daughter, the tragic loss of his daughter, to, to hide the fact that they told him, hey, you out of here. Uh, we're going to get Josh to come in. And if Josh had any balls about him, if he had any integrity, when they brought him in, he wouldn't. He should have changed nothing. He should have changed something so small, that's it. And be like, nah, that's this man's work right here. I'm, I'm going to honor it by not messing with it just because y'all don't like it. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, I heard that's what happened to him on Avengers. That's why his last Avengers was uh, Age of Ultron because it's just some similar type stuff was happening. So, um, hey, it is what it is. All this concept off that Wonder Woman stunt scene where they showed them training for that bank. All of that, the sweep the leg kick, the swift of the head, all of that stuff was not even in it. It was so short. Like As a matter of fact, it lasts about five seconds. She busts through the door, dodges a bullet, throws a dude up against the wall, throws another dude, grabs a suitcase and jumps. We don't get none of that. The way that scene looked, that concept, it looked terrific, amazing. It looked like we would have been like, oh, but alas, they cut it. So just tell you how I feel about that. I want a Snyder cut. I hope we get one. I hope we get to see, at least, I mean, oh man, concept on the dark side, man. Steppenwolf looks better. In the, just, it's just too much. Snyder was robbed. He was done really wrong, and his cut of the film would have satisfied 
me and a lot of and pretty much all of his fans. Um, so next, uh, I'm talking about the app Vero. Um, I only got on Vero last year, early last year, because Zack Snyder was on there, right? That's the only reason, because he was putting out the little tidbits for Justice League before that first trailer dropped. And that was the only place you could see that stuff, because he stopped being on Twitter and all of this other stuff. And, you know, so, and then, so that's why I was on it. Very, no ads, no algorithm, just, just people sharing stuff, right? And that's the only reason I was on there. And then all of a sudden, I don't know what happened last week, but it exploded. Like, I don't know. I've got. A, I can't even tell you how many followers I have right now. I, I don't even want to check it and look. It's it's probably a hundred times more than what I had before that. You know. So, but I, that's why I was on at him play. You know. Uh, uh, just I, I like to follow the dudes, man. The dudes put up some good stuff, nice content. Shout outs to the fans. Zack Snyder's even. He has yet to reply to any of my tags, but he has replied to some fans' tags. So that's cooler to do, man. And that's where he's doing that teasing. So if you don't have Vero, get on Vero. First follow me. <laughs> Just search for at 27 ICS and then Zach Snyder. And so you can check out that. I mean, he, he, he's putting out these clues and stuff, and it's very interesting, and I like it. I like the way he, he uh, acts with his fans on that uh, social media. Um, the news that came out last week about, I don't know if it's been confirmed that Christian Wig is going to be Cheetah or what. Look, I can't understand how still today people still, when actors are cast in these comic books slash superhero films, still get upset. They've been, it, it, it's all, it's turned out good. Even, uh, oh, what's his damn name? Ryan Reynolds and Green Lantern. The movie was bad, but he was a perfect Hal Jordan. All the, they, they did that with Ben Affleck, Gal Gadot, and look how it turned out. Even Michael Keaton, way back in the original Tim Burton Batman movie, look how it turned out. That I think she, I think it's a big, it'd be a great casting. I, I, I would like to see that. So um, we'll, we'll see what happens. You know, there are other actresses I would like to see in the role as well. But uh, Kristen Wiig, I wouldn't have a problem with that. Just to be quite, quite honest. Um, all right. <laughs> the uh, a, it was a set photo. From Shazam, that was leaked to show in the costume, and you know what I thought the first time I saw the costume? That looks like something I just saw in a comic book. It was accurate, accurate as I mean, accurate as an M ever. To be quite honest, I try not to cuss too much on my on my channel. It was accurate as fuck. I'm gonna go ahead and be tell you right there. People complaining about it. Oh, the quality looks bad. They don't know the content. They don't know the context of what the costume is doing. They could add some kind of like lighting effects that just go move around the suit while he, anything. It looked good to me. It looked comic accurate. Who knows, maybe it'll change. Like, like they always say, it's, it's, it comes from a kid's mind. So that's what he, he thinks when he's Shazam and he turns into to the warrior. But I had no problem with it. I thought the suit looked amazing. Uh, because it's comic accurate, man. People get so upset when stuff isn't comic accurate enough. But then when it is like this, they have a problem with it as well. People don't play about anything. Um, I'm sure they'll... I, I am surprised, though, that they didn't release an official photo. Because uh, studios normally don't like to look have that stuff. Remember when the uh, Suicide Squad trailer leaked from Comic-Con? They don't like to have that trash out there. So they go ahead and release it. Um, I'm surprised they haven't released a photo yet. Maybe we'll get one soon. Who knows? Maybe be tomorrow. That'd be nice. Uh... All right, so Infinity War was moved up a week. Everybody knows they had that back and forth. Robert Downey Jr. talking about fantastic in all capital letters. You know, it, you, you, you could have any kind of thoughts on what that might mean. It could mean Fantastic Four in the post credits. And I, I, that's, I, I can't remember where I read it. That somebody said that they moved it up to meet so it, it releases worldwide on the same day. I guess because they don't want spoilers getting out because it, it was originally supposed to release overseas on that day, April 27th, and here on the 4th, but then they moved it back so they all released at the same time, probably because they don't want that content getting out, man, and that's understandable to me, um, but uh, it, it kind of, I'm excited for it regardless of what of, of what happens, hopefully we get a nice final trailer before then, but the thing is, like, I had already requested all work, like, I had my, to go to the premiere that Thursday night before, I'm not going to be able to get off now. I'm going to have to go see a later showing, probably like 10 o'clock at night, which I hate going to because it's so late. And 
if you go to late night showings a lot, you understand exactly what I'm talking about. Because I normally catch ones that start at 7. So I'm going to have to catch it later when it's time. But that's the only gripe I got with that. We get the movie sooner, and I'm cool with it. Um, the photo from the show Krypton of Brainiac, I thought it was amazing. I thought it looked comic accurate, once again. And uh, not exactly like Brainiac, but if you just show me that picture and tell me what it was, I'd be like, that's Brainiac. So satisfied with that. Um, yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to that show. When they first announced it, I was like, get the hell out of my face with this mess, right? And now as they've been showing stuff, I'm getting a little bit more, okay, it might be okay. So I'm really looking forward to the premiere. Um, I just I just don't know how long you can keep going with the series. It's like this with this type of premise. Maybe it only lasts a season, and then Krypton still explodes at the end, and we still get kal coming to Earth, and we still get all that stuff for the movie. But um, it, it seems kind of odd to have a series like that. It just, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Um, well... That's how I felt about some of this news that then came out. Um, I'm sure there's some stuff I missed, some stuff I've been reading up on and just hadn't been paying, uh, hadn't had time to get on here and tell you guys about it. But this is my first news. Tell me what you think in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Like it, share it, post, do whatever you want with it. Uh, just, you know, don't, don't block it or nothing, right? Just do whatever you want. Uh, if you like the video, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at 2279ACS. Um, yeah, until next time, ACS Universe, out. Run, 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 run.